Hey there dudes and welcome back to our applied math section of calculus. Today we're going to be talking about the derivatives of polynomes. And so basically the idea is that there are a bunch of gnomes out there living in these polyamorous communities where, uh, you know, instead of two person relationships, they have three or four or five person relationships. And as you know, a derivative means rate of change. And so the question is, how quickly are these gnomes reproducing? Uh, with respect to time, of course. And so we might pick time to be in hours, and then we're going to find a function for polynomes, and then take the derivative and see what happens. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm being informed that that's not it at all. And actually, the thing that we're taking the derivative of is polynomials. Polynomials. Easy mistake, people. Judge not. It could happen to you. Okay, let's actually talk about polynomials. Remember, polynomials just look like um, a bunch of crap added together. They're powers of x with constants in front of them and a bunch of those added together. So let's take this first dude and find the derivative. And dudes, this is just as easy as it feels like. You take the derivative of each piece. So here we pretty much have three pieces, one, two, and three. Take the derivative of each piece and then add the results together. So let's do it one at a time. What happens to minus 10x squared is we ignore the minus 10. If we just take the derivative of x squared, x squared becomes 2x. And now we remember the minus 10, and we multiply it back in. We'll simplify that in a second. For right now, let's move on. 3x, what happens is we ignore the 3, and we take the derivative of x. The derivative of x all by itself is just a 1, people. We did that last time, so maybe you remember that. And the reason why is because x is a line of slope 1. And derivative just means slope. So the x becomes just a 1. And the 3 is something we have to remember to put back in. Finally, the derivative of any constant, any fixed number without any x's attached, is just 0. So the 30 becomes a 0. And now let's go ahead and simplify this puppy. Minus 10x squared becomes, uh, sorry, minus 10x becomes minus 20x. Wait, I'm still saying the wrong thing. Minus 10 times 2x becomes minus 20x. There, love it. Uh, 3 times 1 becomes 3, and the 0 just stays a 0. So the final answer for this guy is just minus 20x plus 3. And by the way, dudes, let me take a very quick break here to remind you that this isn't just magic nonsense. This really is the graph of the derivative function. Um, so for a better illustration of what that means, check out the following video on tangent lines. For right now, I'm just going to go ahead and finish doing the rest of these exercises. And then the intuition will have to wait until that later majestic video. All right, let's say we're doing this next example. Um, as always, we're going to do a piece at a time. So here's a piece. Here's another piece, here's another piece, and here's a fourth piece. So what happens to x cubed is that it becomes 3x squared. Now remember the fact that you started with a 12 and put that back in. What happens to x squared is it becomes 2x. And now dudes, remember the fact that actually what we started with was not a 4, it was a minus 4. So what we're going to put in here is minus 4. 9x just becomes 9, and 3 just becomes 0. All right, and then we simplify. 12 times 3 is 36. Minus 4 times 2 is minus 8. And then plus 9. And that's it, people. Ain't no thing, you know what I'm saying. And here we got some um, other stuff. Dudes, this is the exact same idea, but uh, there are going to be two parts for this that are a little bit tricky. Just like before, what we want to do, and by before I mean the previous video, what we want to do is rewrite these guys as power functions. So first, let's rewrite them like this. And I'm going to keep in the ddx because I'm not actually taking the derivative yet. I'm just rewriting these guys using plain old algebra. So the first thing that it becomes is 10 over 3x to the 1 half, because that's how we can rewrite square root. And then how about this guy, 13 over 9x? Well, let's be careful here, dudes. Um, I'm going to take 13 over 9x, and I'm going to rewrite it as 13 over 9 times 1 over x. And that's completely correct. That is the correct way to rewrite it. And the point of rewriting it this way is that now when I use algebra, I can rewrite that as 13 over 9 times x to the negative 1. All I did was keep the 13 over 9 the same and take 1 over x and turn it into x to the minus 1. All right, so all I've done is rewrite it using algebra. Now I'm going to rewrite this dude kind of similarly. I'm going to say that if I have 10 over 3x to the 1 half, that's the same thing as 10 over 3 times 
uh, 1 over x to the 1 half. So let me rewrite it like this. 10 over 3, 1 over x to the 1 half. So now I can keep the 10 over 3 the same. And the thing that is 1 over x to the 1 half, I can make that x to the negative 1 half. Whoa, whoa, wait, look at janky. x to the negative 1 half. There, love it. Uh, and then the other guy, I'm going to keep the same. 13 over 9, x to the negative 1. All right, dudes, and still all I've done is use algebra. So this point, now these guys are finally in power function form. So now we're actually ready to take the derivative. And the usual thing applies. We're going to leave the numbers the same in to begin with. So x to the minus 1 half becomes negative 1 half x to the minus 3 halves, because I subtracted 1 for the exponent. And now don't forget your 10 over 3. We've got a plus. We've got a 13 over 9. And now x to the minus 1 becomes negative 1 times x to the negative 2. All right, now let's simplify that. 10 thirds times minus 1 half becomes minus 10 over 6. And we have x to the minus 3 halves plus. And then 13 over 9 times a minus 1 is just a minus. So let's actually make that minus. Minus 13 over 9 times x to the negative 2. All right, dudes, after all that slogging, that is it. That's our final answer. This looks amazing, and we are gods among men and women. So that's pretty cool, and goodbye.